Hello viewers, today we are going to understand the Warburg effect. Warburg effect is defined as an increased rate in the glucose uptake and preferential production of lactate even in the presence of oxygen. You know that in a normal cell, glucose is uh, you know converted into pyruvate and this pyruvate enters into the mitochondria where TCA cycle is carried out and the end product is uh, CO2 as well as some reducing equivalent that harness ATP or energy for the cell right this is happening in the presence of oxygen while in absence of oxygen most uh, usually lactate is produced through anaerobic glycolysis but Warburg effect is actually aerobic glycolysis. Even in the presence of oxygen, pyruvate is converted into lactate. Okay, so this is the phenomena where increases glucose uptake is increased and pyruvate is converted constantly into lactate, or majority of the pyruvate is converted into lactate through aerobic glycolysis. So Warburg effect you can uh, define it as a aerobic glycolysis also. This phenomenon was termed the Warburg effect in early 1970s by Ephraim Racker. It was Ephraim Racker who coined the term Warburg effect for this phenomenon. Now, who studied this or who actually gave the concept of Warburg? It was Otto Warburg. Otto Warburg uh, observed this phenomenon in cancer cells and he is the recipient of a Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine 1931. But his, he was awarded Nobel for his discovery of the nature and mode of action of the respiratory enzymes. Okay. Now, you know that aerobic glycolysis leading to the lactate formation uh, is Warburg effect. But what are the consequences of Warburg effect? It uh, culminates into several effects in cancer cells supporting the cancer growth. Now, some of the consequences are it alters the react reactive oxygen species homeostasis and it also changes the redox homeostasis and even it perturbs or man and modulate the chromatin uh, you know uh, structure by affecting acetylation and deacetylation and also it results in acidification or acidosis of the microenvironment which can change the extracellular matrix and its interaction with the cells which can help ultimately in metastasis of the cancer cells. So this was about the Warburg effect in a nutshell. I hope you liked the video. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please keep coming to this channel, share, like, subscribe and push the icon button for more details and updates. Thank you.